Let's come and bless the Lord now. Let's put everything aside and focus and lift up a sound. Even lift up a shout. Lift up your voice and begin to bless the Lord. This is absolutely governmental what's going on right now. These nations, these nations, Lord, we've come to you. And the darkness has covered the earth. But kings are going to come to your rising, to the rising of the light now.
Lift up thine eyes round about and see. And they gather themselves together, they come to thee. Thy son shall come from afar, and thy daughter shall be nursed at your side. Then thou shalt see and flow together, and thy heart shall fear and be enlarged, because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. The forces of the Gentiles shall come to you. Arise, shine, for thy life has come. And the Gentiles shall come to thy life. Of your rising, 
just for a moment here. If you have the word in your mouth, that governmental word in your mouth over any of those nations I just mentioned, declare it over them now. This is as if you're standing in not the UN, but beyond that and saying, this is what's going to be. Because in this place right now, I sense the authority because the glory of the Lord has risen upon you and you've grabbed hold of it. Therefore, out of your words, proceed that which needs to be spoken, righteousness into these situations. If you have that word, as the sound is coming, you can come and decree it. But I ask that only because you have it in you now to release that. And this is true. As you release the glory of the Lord and the nations that come to you, as you release that, and it's not focused on you but on that, it will cause healing because in Him, you're in Him who the Son of Man has healings in His wings. He is the captain of the host. He's the governor. We refer to the Holy Spirit as the governor. Let him now proclaim because it rests on you in these nations and the things that were just explained in more detail. Come as we go and let loose that sound once again.
goes up with a shout, and the Lord with the sound of the trumpet, and let God arise, and your enemies in all these lands be scattered.
all the nations we called out today, oh Lord. And in the witness of many clouds of witnesses, we say here now, those angelics for this time released to all the nations we have just spoken from what is coming in Nigeria, what is coming in North Korea, what is coming in China, what is coming in Taiwan, what is coming in Kenya. And in this, in the US, of God. Seven trumpets were given to them. Another angel with a gold incense burner came and stood at the altar. He was given a large amount of incense to offer with the prayers of all the saints on the gold altar in front of the throne. The smoke of the incense with the prayers of the saints went up in the presence of God from the angel's hand. The angel took the incense burner, filled it with fire from the altar, and hurled it to the earth. Then there were thunders rumblings, lightnings, and an earthquake. And the seven angels who had the seven trumpets prepared to blow them. The word says that as we are lifting our voices in prayer, as we're lifting our voices in adoration and supplication, as we come before His throne, the Lord quiets the heavens. There is silence in the heavens because He's arising to bring judgments because of the prayers of the saints because of the prayers of the oppressed because of the prayers of those who are seeking his kingdom on the earth as it is in heaven he arises 
He arises. There is no quiet moments in heaven. But when He arises in the courtrooms, as He is going to execute judgments, righteous judgments and justice to the land, to the earth. As David prayed, take me out of the prison, God. God has heard the cries that come from the earth, from the peoples that realize we are in a prison and we want relief from this prison. We are asking God, bring the righteous judgments to the wicked. Bring those judgments that will unfold and dismantle the plans of the wicked. As your light shines and arrives in your children, the wicked will be ashamed of their darkness. And they will look at the light and cry out for mercy and repentance. We speak life and resurrection power, God. We speak as you, Lord Jesus. Open the seals and the heavens are looking and listening and paying attention to the cries, to the prayers, to the voices that come from the saints. And it is an aroma that you delight in and that you say, my children, I'm opening up the prisons. I'm establishing my kingdom. You're coming out because I have good plans for you, for the nations of the earth. I have good plans to give you the hope that you have in your hearts. I created this world to establish my kingdom of justice and righteousness and joy and peace. And I arise in my throne to execute justice in the land. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus as he releases his glory upon his children, as he releases his power and life of the Spirit and resurrection power. There is power in you. There is power in you because Jesus is in you. There is a light shining in you because Jesus is in you. And he's arising against his enemies. And he's arising to your favor. He's arising to unlock the secrets, to unlock the treasuries 
just release your spirit. Just release your presence, Father. Protect our brothers and sisters. The only guard they have is you. Is your is you. They have no protection. Because the the ways of men were just only you. Righteousness into Nigeria right now in the elections. That righteousness will prevail. That the half that serves Islam and Muhammad, a fake God, would come to know the real God. That you would rise up in power. And this election would reflect the will of the people for you to rise up in power. We release that sound now and the glory of your life.
entire continent now of Africa. power Jesus your justice your justice your justice may be manifested in this nation father we speak life and resurrection power Jesus life and resurrection power God you do not take sides God you are impartial Lord Jesus the only side you take is the kingdom side the righteous side let your kingdom come let your will be done on the earth there is power in the name of Jesus establish your justice God your justice Jesus not human justice but divine justice God the true justice that brings freedom, true freedom, true freedom, Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. I see your light. I see your light shining. I see your light shining in the darkness. I see your light exposing darkness. I see your light, Jesus, life of the Spirit. And that what was done in secret now is going to be revealed to the world. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. We speak life and resurrection power to those who are called to take positions, those who are called by you that you put in place, Jesus Christ, to take those positions, Father, in righteousness, in the fear of God, God, in your perfect will, Jesus Christ. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on the earth as it is in heaven there is power in the name of jesus life of the spirit resurrection power justice 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 flows justice flows jesus
time to understand that there is something faster than the speed of sound. There is something faster than the speed of light. It's the speed of eternity, where everything happens in one moment in eternity, and it's released over time. And the Lord says that John heard seven thunders, and those seven thunders echoed in the earth. And those seven thunders, the words that those seven thunders spoke could not be written down. But we see it in our time. We see it in our time. We see it now. We see the division. In our country, we see it as the right and the left. This side of the aisle, the other side of the aisle. We don't know how it manifests around the earth. But this is the iron and clay. This is what Nebuchadnezzar saw in history that Daniel showed him the division of the darkness and the end times and the kingdom divided will not stand and the Lord says the sound that's being heard is the sound of eternity, the speed of eternity and it's in the form of a stone cut out without hands and it's rushing now towards the earth, it's rushing towards the earth in space, in time and in eternity and it's going to crush the work of the enemy, it's going to crush the iron and clay. It's going to cause a